Okay, so we're going to look at 12 times 13. Now, in order to use base 10 blocks to work this problem out, we're going to build a rectangle. And when we build rectangles with base 10 blocks, when we're doing multiplication, we use the first factor as the across distance and the second factor as the up distance. So t our rectangle that we're going to build is going to be 12 across and it's going to be 13 up. Now, a little thing about rectangles. Rectangles do not have any holes in them. So if there was a hole in here, this would not be a rectangle. It does not have any missing bits. That would not be a rectangle because it's missing a bit. And it doesn't have any sticky outy things. This would not be a rectangle because it has things sticking out. So a rectangle must have four sides and four right corners. No holes, nothing sticking out, and nothing missing. So keep that in mind when you're building your rectangle. So for 12 times 13, we are going to have 12 across and 13 up. And I'm just going to put that there for now just to help you. So 12 across and 13 up. So let's do measuring sticks because this is the beginning for a lot of people. So we want it to be 12 across. So there's 10 plus 2. That's 12. And then our up is going to be 10 plus 3, which is 13. Keep in mind that when you're building this, you don't want to have this down like this because otherwise it will actually only be 12 up. So make sure that they are touching on the corner there. So we'll use this as our measuring stick. As you get better at this, you won't meet, need a measuring stick, but for today, I figure it's probably a good idea to have. So we can see that we need to build a rectangle that has this length and that width or that across and that up distance. And the biggest block that's going to fit in here is going to be 100. Fits nice just like that. Now, over here, we could use the multi tens. Um, this is a multi ten. Can you see that there's 10 here and 10 here? So that would be two tens or 20. And we can just put that right there. And then the multi ten for 30 is three tens, 30. And put that right there. So, so far we have 12 across and we have 13 up. Now we have 12 across all the way along here. Except when we get up to here, we're only 10 across. And then we have 13 up all the way along here, except over here, it's only 10 up. So we actually have something missing here, and that's what I was talking about. We can't have missing bits. So we need to fill in this corner here, and that's where our little units come in handy. So we're going to fill it in, and you'll find out that six units fit in there. Now that we've built our rectangle, let's take away our measuring sticks because this is not part of the rectangle. So we take these away and now we're actually left with a rectangle that is 12 across anywhere that you go. No matter where you go, it's 12 across and it's 13 up. No matter where you go up, it's 13 up. Okay, now what we're going to do is something called um, split and shift. Uh, and what we're going to do is we split the rectangle this way and we shift it like this so that the like kinds are lined up with each other. So here you can see that we have units. Here we've got tens and here we've got hundreds. Now if you look at the multiplication problem here, hang on, let me use the right color here. If you look at our multiplication problem here, and we could actually rewrite this. I'm going to rewrite this using colors because really uh, 12 is just 110 and uh, 110 and 2 units, and 13 is uh, 110 and 3 units. And I'm actually going to replace these three tens 
with just three loose tens that are blue, just so you can see the color of the pens go with the color. You can see there's 10 across. And then over here, I'm gonna take the two out of here and put this in here. And the reason I'm doing that is just so that you can see when I write this, how it all kind of fits together. So if I were to put this back together like this, we still have 12 across and 13 up. And can you see that 10 across and uh, a 10 plus two across, 10 plus one, two across. And it is 10 plus two across anywhere you go here. And then 10 plus three up. And you can see the blue and, and the green there and the blue and the green there. Um, but now we're gonna do the split and shift again. So we split it, we shift it, line up our like kinds. Okay. Again, keep in mind that this is the across and that's the up. So if we start here, this is two across and three up. If we go two times three, that's two across and three up. And that gives us six, six units. Two across and three up gives us six units. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then this says 10 across. Can you see 10 across here? 10 across and three up, 10 across and three up. So 10 across and three up is actually three tens or 30, but we're gonna write it as three tens. Really what this is, is that this, this is 30 plus six, and that's really 30 plus six, which is three tens plus six units, okay? Now, can you see how there's no units here? There's just none. So we could put down zero units here because there aren't any in that column there or in that box there if we wanted to draw boxes around here. Okay, so now what we have is two across and 10 up. Do you see how this is two across and 10 up? And two across and 10 up is the same as two tens or 20. And so we'll write that as two tens like that. And with the zero there, it's clear to see that it's 20. Whereas here it's a little more difficult because you've got the six hiding on top of the zero. So 30 plus six, 20 plus zero, right? Now the next one is 10 across and 10 up. So 10 across and 10 up. And 10 across and 10 up is 100 or 10 times 10, which is 100. Okay, and now we just draw our line across. And we're just gonna add our like kinds. And can you see how there's six units there? Six plus nothing is six. And then we have three tens plus two tens is five tens. And then we have zero hundreds, which we could put a zero there if we wanted to, but there's no need to. So there's zero hundreds there. See, there are none. Plus 100 gives us 100. And that's how we get 156. Now the six units that um, Yuzzy was talking about are right here. And that's because you have two across times three. So two times three is six, right? 10 times three is 30. 2 times 1 is 20, 10 times 10 is 100. You end up with 6 units, 5 tens and 100. Now, another way to think about 12 times 13, when you're writing it, oh, actually, the other thing I should show you before we quit with this here, put this back the way we had it, is that if you were to draw boxes around like Ben did in his video, you would have a box here for the units, so a box on the top and a box there, and then you'd have a box here and here and here and here. Now I don't believe he actually put one here, and that really represents, he didn't put a line there, that really represents the split and shift that you need to do in order to put your like kinds together and in order to match the algorithm that kids are taught. So these boxes here represent the split and shift. Now there'd be more boxes if there were more digits in the number. So the bigger the numbers, the more boxes you have. Um, and perhaps you'd have more than one, two rows. You'd have, probably have three or four rows possibly, depending on what number it is that you're timesing by what number. Keep in mind always the top number is the across dimension, or the, the, I should really say the first factor or the top factor is the across dimension, and the bottom factor 
um, is the up dimension. So in order for the algorithm to work, always go across and then up with multiplication. Now another way to write this would be um, like this. I'm actually going to just erase the whole thing there. You could go uh, 12 times 13 as 10 uh, plus 2 across uh, times 10 plus oh, plus 3 up. Oh, I have got to just trying to make sure you can kind of coordinate the blocks with the numbers. That's why I'm trying to color code them for you. You don't need to color code them when you're doing this, but hopefully this might help you see it a little bit better. So if we go put the blocks back together, can you see that we have 12 across, which is the same as 10 plus 2 across? Can you see that's 10 plus 2 across anywhere you go? 10 plus 2. And if we do it this way, it's 10 plus 3 up. Still 12 times 13. Okay? So we've still got uh, 12 times 13 there. But then what you can do is you can put this, put your multiplication sign, and then we can again do the split and shift. Okay, so there's your split and shift. So two across and three up, there's your six units. Okay, 10 across and three up gives you 30 or three tens. You can see that right there. Okay. And then uh, we now have uh, two across and ten up, which is right here, two across and ten up, which is two tens or twenty. And we'll put them in the right columns, just so that we've got like kinds with like kinds, because it's much easier to add. And then we've got ten across and ten up, which is really this one here, which is a hundred. And then you can draw your line, and then you can add your like kinds. I'm just going to put my plus signs down first. And you can see that that's six units. See that there? Six units. And then th three tens and two tens is five tens. Oh, wrong color. Gives you 50, or five tens. And then you've just got 100 here. And again, you can see the split and shift if I were to put boxes in here. I could really just take these out for now and put my boxes in here and you'd see the split and shift. Okay. And actually I guess I could leave that in. It's like 100. So you've got six tens, or sorry, six units, five tens and 100, which is 100 plus 50 plus six, which is really just 100 and 50. I think I put the wrong colored caps on the wrong colored pens, but that's okay. Now, one of the faster ways to do this, as you get better at this, is we just erase this and we go 12 times 13 and we go 2 times 3 is 6, and then we've got 3 times 10 is 30, 10 times 2 is 20, so that's 30, plus 20 is 50, plus the 6 is 56, plus 10 times 10 is 100, 156. And that's kind of the aim for the kids to be able to do that in their head. Um, but in order for them to do that, they need to understand what it is they're, they're doing. So typically what you're taught in school is this algorithm. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 1 is 3. Put down your 0. 1 times 2 is 2. 1 times 1 is 1. Add those together. 156. But nowhere in all of that did they explain to you that this is really 2 times 10, or 3 times 10, or 10 times 10. This is the only one that really makes sense. 2 times 3 is 6. But everything else, they don't use the place value, and that's the beauty of 
teaching multiplication this way is that kids will learn the place value and they'll understand that that's a 10 and a 2, not a 1 and a 2, and that's a 10 and a 3, not a, a 1 and a 3. And they'll understand that that's 3 tens and 2 tens and 100, and that that's 5 tens and 100, and that that's 6 units, right? And that there is a difference between each of these place values.